Hi everybody, it's Lene. Thanks so much for stopping by my channel today. Today I'm gonna do a card and we're gonna be utilizing the wax melts, the wax stamp, and also these great ephemera postcards I got, all of which came from my last Timu haul. And I promised you I would show you there was a reason I bought it all. I wasn't just going crazy buying this and that. I had a plan. So these postcards are great. Um, They've got lots of different images on them that I know I'll use many times in the future. I like the size. They fit well on cards. Um, yeah, the quality's good. I was happy with those. So I chose this mushroom with the writing as a letter on here because it has space here for me to use some, some die cuts. Um, so let's go for that. And if you like mixed media, you guys, let me know in the comments. I've always kind of avoided mixed media because I wasn't sure how my audience would feel about that. So if you want to, I, I love it. It's one of my favorite mediums. So if you want to see more mixed media like this, blow up my comments and boy, will I ever. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is start out with five by six and a half inch blank white card. I always just start with, a blank white card because I think it's just something we all have and you can always ink it, color it, cover it with paper. So the first thing I'm gonna do is use my Bow Bunny Brighton paper pad. I'll link all these items down below. And I just love all of these. I love the gold embossing that's on here. It's beautiful. And I had one in here, yeah, yeah. This one is this beautiful green with the gold embossed leaves on it. I am excited about that. So I'm gonna do something like this, something like this. We're gonna cut that down. And then I've got some paper from an old book. Don't worry, you guys, it was very damaged. I'm not out there destroying literature. And I'm just gonna tear the edges. But one of my favorite ways to get a nice tear on lightweight book paper is just take a little bit of water and start my water brush here. Take a little bit of water and you're just gonna be making sort of a little path to tear on. You don't need much. And it's just moistening that. And it's gonna give you, cause it's a whole lot easier to draw a line that's semi straight than it is to tear, right? And some people are really comfortable tearing paper, paper and other people, it freaks them out. So um, we're gonna just go here. My water brush is like not behaving today. There we go, just need to give it a squeeze. I'm gonna, gonna go ahead and do all the sides here. All right. So I know about what size I want on this. <laughs> when I tore this book page out, I had read this book, okay? And I, whenever I use book pages in a class or anything like that, especially on YouTube, I give it a quick scan to make sure I haven't forgotten and there's no like unseemly language written on there. That would be horrifying. Wouldn't that be horrifying if I'm just like showing you guys this book page and there's like nasty words? Um, if they were on there, it wouldn't be because I knew about it, believe me but you just never know. Especially if you're buying damaged books just for the covers or to utilize them in this way. It's a risk. All right, there we go. I'm liking that. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ink the edges not with brown. What? I'm gonna use black. So we're gonna use some Distress ink, black soot. Uh, when I uh, cleaned out my craft room in order to give it a makeover, I put away a lot of the ink pads and then I couldn't find them. I organized them to the point where I could not find them. And especially my distress inks. I was really happy to found them, find them. It's been months, you guys. All right. there. All right. And then we're going to do this where I'm going to have a little bit of white around the border. Y'all know if you've been watching me for a while, 
I just don't like measuring for me. It just takes, it'd probably be faster if I measured, but I have determined a long time ago that it sort of kills the craft mood for me to do math. And I enjoy math, math's great, but it slows me down. All right, that's gonna go right there, all right? But first, we're gonna ink the edges with a little bit of brown. You knew that was coming, right? All right, a little bit of white glue, it's cosmic shimmer. go. And that's going to go right there. All right. And then this one, we're going to cut down a little bit. It's got a little bit extra that we just don't need. I like the signature. Keep that. And I think we can just take a little bit off the edge here. And a tiny bit, I want to keep that um, mushroom intact for sure. So I should measure this so you guys have an idea. So I've cut this down to about three and three eighths to five inches. That's going to go right there. I just want a little bit of a peak of those other layers of paper. Right, yes. No, 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 Lenny. We're gonna do some stuff on here. I got too fast. Um, all right, so the next thing we're gonna do is take a couple of these sweet little botanical cutting dies. And this is, I'll list the set it's from. Looks like this, I love this one. It's one of my favorites. And I die, die cut it from some green cardstock and just a little bit of this green plaid. These are both from Magnolia cardstock and um, pat patterned <laughs> cardstock um, from Hot Off The Press. I'll link those down below, but you know, use what you have. That just happens to be one of my favorites. All right, so we're gonna just take that brown and just do a little bit. We're not gonna ink this whole thing. That's like Friar Brown, in case you're interested. And just a little bit of variation. And I think just taking the time to do a little bit of inking like this kind of elevates that cut image. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna put the one that has a slight pattern on it, just overlap those. We can still see the mushrooms. We still know what's going on there. Just take a little bit of glue to tack these leaves down. Oops. And that one's gonna go right there. Same with this one. Okay, now I am overlapping that mushroom a little bit. Just to add a little bit of interest. Now, I'm gonna take some twine. You guys, the cutest thing, my husband went to the restore a couple days. He's just obsessed, he goes there a couple times a week. And that's the Habitat for Humanity store. So we're happy to support that store. But he brought home a ball, I think like five balls of twine. They were very industrial looking. And he's like, I thought you could use these for crafting, which I thought was so cute. There was one that was like a cotton ball of twine. I'll bring it up to show you another day. And I was like, I, yeah, I can use this. Well, that's my dog, Oscar. But it was so cute. He's, he's so sweet and wants to be so helpful. But, you know, it, it was like something that you'd use for, I don't know, 
mechanical things. I don't even know what it was for, but it was really sweet. Okay, so now we're going to take that. He was trying. All right, and we just wrapped this twine. This twine just came from the Dollar Tree. It's just jute twine. Wrapped it around there, and here's what we're going to do, you guys. We're going to take this, and that came from my little stash here that I got and from Timu, and then I got this great, it's like a compass stamp. And then I colored it using this gold metallic color pen. And then you guys, I discovered these on Amazon. And you drip the wax into these on um, silicone mat, and then you stamp them, and then they'll give you shapes. So this one's a scallop. And um, just stay tuned till Thursday. I am gonna do a video on some variations of these um, so you guys can take a look in case you haven't used your wax melt stamps in a while, or if you never have. All right, so we're gonna do it like that. Now, this one is this really nice, kind of a rusty red color. And there's blacks and greens and all kinds of stuff. I was originally going to use this one, but then it kind of gave Christmas vibes. So I have decided to use a different color. Oops. There's one that I did out of this really cool, like smoky, kind of almost a graphite black right there. And then I made these little dots too out of the wax. We're gonna add those on. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is just do a little bit of this coloring. This is the metallic pen, the gold. And then I will mention to my fantastic editor and sister-in-law Carrie. Let's zoom in on this so they can see better. And I'm just putting this metallic on that compass. It's really, really easy. And then I'm just gonna take some and put it on the north, south, east, west. And then the little dots in between. And as I said, I'm gonna do a video on Thursday getting into more detail about this. What I like to do though is, is make these ahead of time and that way you're not messing too much with them in the moment, okay? And you can just store these in a little bag or a little box and then you have them ready to go. So then how you adhere these, you could use a little foam tape, whatever. I'm just gonna use a big glob of glue Okay, and you want to keep that. You know what? It's occurring to me. Y'all are going to want to mail this when I give this away. So I cannot have a big knot on there. I'm glad I caught that. If I was hand delivering it, that would be fine. So we're going to quick readjust. Yeah, that would definitely not make it through the mail if you went too high. All right. So we're just gonna put our glue right here. We've got enough right here, it's totally fine. That's gonna lay much flatter. That's gonna be fine. <laughs> we all screaming, hey! Sometimes I can hear you through the video. All right, so that's how that's gonna work, just like that. So cute. All right, and now we're gonna go ahead and place this right here. I'm gonna put a little bit more glue, but I'm not taking time for things to dry. So. Put a little bit on the twine there. Here we go. We're gonna take a minute for that to dry. We'll be right back. Uh, 
Okay, we're back. So I've got my little silicone mat here. As I said, I'm gonna tell you more about that on Thursday, so make sure to catch that. And then I've got some script greeting dazzle stickers and this nice dark green. We're gonna use, use the hello. And we're gonna peel this off. I might even trim some of this down so it fits a little bit better. We'll see here. So um, I'm gonna take this time to tell you guys about how I love to give my projects away. If you've been watching me for a while, you know that um, I love to give these away. I don't wanna keep them around my house. So if you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, you can be entered into win. And then the following week, so if you're watching this on Monday, then watch the following Monday and then you have to watch the video because the winner is hidden inside of the video. And then just follow the instructions about emailing me and I will send it right off to you. And you guys, I have a lot of projects that don't get claimed by viewers who just don't check back. It's sad. <laughs> One of these days, maybe to like reach 100, I'll like do a big giveaway. Let me know, would you guys like that? If I just took a bunch of projects that um, haven't been claimed and I do a big giveaway and like uh, to increase uh, the subscriptions. I'm really trying to get to a thousand, you guys. We're so close. So yeah, try to help me out there if you can. YouTube tells me that most of you are not subscribers. All right, so I'm gonna take these little dots that I made out of the wax. I'm gonna put a couple, oh, that's a big one. It's a little too much glue. A couple up here, kind of to highlight that adorable little mushroom. Use up that glue on my finger there, cute. Okay, and I think one of these little black ones too. All there we go. And then maybe another. There, come on, there we go. All right, I don't think that's Christmassy. I think I beat it. All right, you guys, here's my finished mixed media card. And like I said, I would love to give this away to one of you. So like, comment, and subscribe, okay? And then next week on next Monday's video, make sure you watch and check out who the winner is and then follow the directions about claiming your prize. Thanks so much for joining me today, you guys. I have fun doing these projects. I have, shun I have, fun, I have, shun I have fun sharing what I know with all of you. And I really enjoyed reading your comments. So I'll see you next time.